Hi, I'm David Liu, rheumatologist from Melbourne, Australia, reporting again for RoomNow.com from ACR 2020, uh, the virtual conference. One of the um, one of the abstracts which has really uh, shaken things up, of course, is about COVID and about COVID antiphospholipid antibodies. Presented in uh, the plenary session, really addressing a lot about the talk about thrombosis and COVID. There's been a lot of talk in, even in the lay media about this, been series of patients with um, COVID patients with positive antiphospholipid antibodies. And some of these quite severe COVID patients do appear to have a catastrophic antiphospholipid syndrome type picture. So uh, what uh, these investigators did, uh, led by uh, Dr. Quo and uh, with Jason in Jason Knight's group, uh, looked at 172 consecutive hospitalised patients and had a look at uh, a series of different antiphospholipid antibodies, conventional ones, non-criteria ones, um, and saw that over half of them have positive antiphospholipid antibodies. Now, the strongest association was actually with anti-PSPT, which is non-criteria antibody, which usually gets picked up as part of the lupus anticoagulant uh, section, but also um, it was notable that anti-cardiolipin IgM um, also had a, um, a strong association. But more than that, the presence of antiphospholipid antibodies was associated with real functional impairment, um, reduced oxygenation, was associated with increased cap protection levels. And in a disease where notosis is so important, uh, we saw it was associated with increased net formation and, and net release. Finally, they took those antiphospholipid antibodies um, from the COVID patients, introduced them to, to mice and formed thrombosis as well. So they're functional, they're definitely functional. So this has got enormous implications. Um, I think every time we think that COVID and rheumatology uh, don't meet, they, they do, and they were increasingly getting that sense. Um, but really what, um, what is the future as we see potentially another wave of COVID in the Northern hemisphere? what's this going to mean in terms of antiphospholipid type syndromes in our COVID patients. For more on this and everything else to do with ACI 2020, head along to roomnow.com.